AI in networking is more transformational than AI in any other sector. And that's because it has two aspects to it. It's AI for networking. And then there is networking for AI that not only helps with the networking sector, but all other sectors. So that's why I call AI in networking super transformational. So let's dig into it a little further. For AI for networking, as we know, operators spend tons of money in CapEx or OpEx, trillions of dollars. And AI can help a lot with productivity gains and efficiencies. So for example, a very uh, low hanging fruit example is energy savings. Just like we turn off the lights in parts of the building that we are not using, we can use the same idea of turning off parts of the network infrastructure that we are not using. So this could, could be sleeping cells, cell sites. It could be turning off parts of the massive MIMO radio or things of that nature. By looking and analyzing the uh, network traffic patterns, by analyzing user density, time of day, other factors to be able to do it in a way that does not adversely impact the user experience for network APIs. In terms of generative AI, which is taking the world by storm, some low-hanging fruit is really using it as for telco as an enterprise. So we all talk about voice bots, chat bots for customer service. Of course, telco can use that as well. But in general, in using generative AI as a user interface for all kinds of content portals that you may have, whether it be the vendor catalogs, whether it be information for your employees, contracts, et cetera, uh, sales op, marketing, um, uh, AI for security, uh, AI for better uh, helping with code generation. Those are all the things that have been low hanging fruit for telecom. Going a little bit more into the uh, network management itself, how we design the networks, how we build the networks, how we run the networks. I've seen a lot of good work, uh, both in terms of machine learning and some generative AI ideas that are coming into that or using digital twins to see how we can better design and configure the networks. So those are like more in the experimentation stages now, which uh, I'm really looking to see more of it. Um, then the, the, of course, as we get more into the radio access network, there's also a lot of opportunities there that are being worked on as well. Um, now, if you go into the revenue generating part, of course, we can have uh, AI and machine learning helping us with tailoring our services. Think of having um, custom networks for enterprise uh, customers, which we've been talking about a lot, but we, uh, using uh, machine learning uh, to automate that, that whole uh, network slicing, lifecycle management could help a lot with making it actually um, cost effective. So the ROI would make sense. Now, the other side of the coin, networking for AI, to me, is super, super important. Uh, first thing is, how do we use network as a conduit for bringing all these uh, new data for the next generation of AI? The first generation of AI was you know, using all these human-generated text. And so the next generation of AI is using all these machine-generated and machine-sense, all the IoT devices that we have, which is about you know, over 16 billion now going into about 30 billion in the future. So that will be a big piece of it. And also, you know, networks will have uh, and are starting to have a lot of uh, edge clouds. So edge clouds gives you the opportunity to bring data and compute together and do AI in a more distributed and real-time way. And that really adds a lot to the flexibility and scalability of the AI. Just think about sharing your networking infrastructure uh, for and using it for AI infrastructure. Just let's say having CPUs and GPUs on uh, far edge, near edge, centralized cloud. And then that helps with the flexibility, with the latency, and it also with privacy and, uh, and security as well. So just tie it all back together. I think uh, AI in networking is super transformational 
because of the two sides of the coin that I mentioned. And also, I believe that we need to be in it exploring, experimenting, and most importantly, ambitiously deploying these because I believe the pace of advancement in AI is so fast that late movers will surely miss out. Mm -hmm.